He is known for his compositions, including operas, symphonies, and concertos. He studied under renowned composers such as Ralph Vaughan Williams, Nadia Boulanger, and Paul Hindemith. His name is Stanley Bate. In the small suburb of Mile House, Devonshire, a musical prodigy named Stanley Bate was born. From a young age, he showed an extraordinary talent for the piano and quickly became the organist at Herbert Street Methodist Church in Devonport at just 12 years old. It was clear that Bate was destined for greatness in the world of music. At the age of 17, Bate completed his first opera, The Forest Enchanted, and even conducted its local production. His musical prowess caught the attention of the Royal College of Music, where he studied under renowned composers such as Ralph Vaughan Williams and Arthur Benjamin. During this time, he composed notable works like String Quartet No. 1 and Symphony No. 1 in E, which showcased his innovative style. Seeking further musical enlightenment, Bate embarked on a journey abroad, studying in Paris with Nadia Boulanger and in Berlin with Paul Hindemith. These experiences broadened his musical horizons and allowed him to explore new artistic avenues. Upon his return to the UK in 1937, Bate was commissioned to compose the concertino for piano and chamber orchestra, which received critical acclaim at the Eastbourne Music Festival in 1938. In 1938, Bate surprised many by marrying Peggy Glanville Hicks, a fellow composer. Despite Bate's open homosexuality, their marriage lasted until 1949 and proved to be a source of support and inspiration for both of their careers. However, their relationship was not without its challenges, with reports of domestic violence. After their divorce, Bate found love again and married Margarita Gages Nogueira, a Brazilian diplomat. As World War II loomed, Bate embarked on a series of tours funded by the British Council, promoting British culture in the US, Australia, and Brazil. These tours solidified his reputation as a brilliant composer and performer. In 1942, Bate achieved a significant milestone when his second piano concerto was performed at Carnegie Hall by the New York Philharmonic Orchestra, with Bate himself as the soloist. His success continued with premieres of his compositions, including the Sinfonietta No. 1 and the Viola Concerto. Despite his international triumphs, Bates struggled to find recognition in his homeland upon his return in 1949. However, there were glimmers of success, such as the well-received performance of his Violin Concerto No. 3 at the Royal Festival Hall in 1953. Fourteen years after its completion, Bates' Symphony No. 3 premiered at the Cheltenham Festival in 1954, garnering praise from critics for its exhilarating and impactful music. Tragically, Stanley Bates' life was cut short in 1959 at the age of 47. Struggling with financial difficulties and feeling unrecognized, he suffered a breakdown and ultimately passed away. The coroner attributed his death to complications of alcohol, although some reports suggested a drug overdose. Despite his untimely demise, Bates' contributions to the world of music remain profound and his compositions continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. In the world of classical music, Stanley Bates' compositions were once lost in obscurity after his passing. However, his third symphony emerged as his most acclaimed work in his home country. Critics noted its influences, with the Manchester Guardian critic pointing out the resemblances to composers like Vaughan Williams, Hindemith, and Boulanger. The symphony, regarded as a war symphony, shared similarities with the contemporaneous works of Arthur Benjamin, Richard Arnell, and Bernard Herrmann. Despite its initial reception, it wasn't until 2006 that a new performance of the Third Symphony was broadcast, followed by a commercial recording in 2010. The revival of interest in Bates' music gained momentum in 2010 with the release of a recording of his viola concerto. Roger Chase, accompanied by the BBC Concert Orchestra conducted by Stephen Bell, brought this intensely lyrical piece to life. The viola concerto, dedicated to Vaughan Williams, immediately captured the attention of listeners with its distinct musical style. This recording sparked a renewed curiosity in Bates' compositions. Subsequently, recordings of the Symphony No. 4 were released in 2011, followed by the Third Piano Concerto and Sinfonietta No. 1 in 2012. Lurita also contributed to the revival by issuing a recording of the Cello Concerto in 2015. Bates' music, once forgotten, found a second life through these recordings and performances. His unique blend of influences and his ability to evoke emotion resonated with audiences anew. From the Third Symphony's exploration of the turmoil of war to the melodic beauty of the viola concerto, Bates' compositions spoke to the hearts of listeners. The revival of interest in his work brought long overdue recognition to this talented composer, ensuring that his music would continue to be cherished for generations to come. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.